how is the German property market in the year 2022? It's now October 2022. And I think we can give you now a fair evaluation of what has happened this year already, especially if you're looking to buy or sell a property in Germany. You should watch this video because I'll give you market insights in the next few minutes. Market insights for you as a seller or buyer. Let's start with the market in general and then I'll, I'll go to address to you if you are a seller or buyer, what you need to be aware of now. So first of all, we have two offices in Berlin and Leipzig. We're brokering between 150 to 200 units per year, making around 100 to 150 million euros transactions volume per year. So we do know the market pretty well. And we have a long established relationship with international buyers and sellers and, and tenants, of course. We have over 1,000 apartments on the market where we actually rent them out and over 200 apartments now on the market who are for sale. The market uh, has changed significantly this year because of all the geopolitics out there in Eastern Europe. I'm sure you're aware of that. So at the moment we have high inflation, we have high energy costs and a lot of uncertainty out there. Interest went up from 1% in January 2022 to now 4% in, in October 2022. That's four times more for a normal buyer in order to buy his apartment per month or per year. So that, of course, limits the amount of people who can actually afford a property in Germany. Compared to the year 2021, where we even had below 1% interest, I think we have more than 60 to 70% less people contacting us on a weekly basis. We had around 300 people per week asking us to buy an apartment. Now we have maybe 150, 100 people a week who are interested in buying. So that's something being said now in October, we already have seen that the amount of leads inquiries is going up significantly in October compared to August and September this year, which is a good sign. So that's also showing that the banks and the people buying have accepted high interest rates. And there's a lot of cash out there of people who actually want to invest into real estate, into property, uh, because they want to be safe against inflation and they, of course, want to invest into their home, which is acceptable and it's pretty much normal. I'm pretty sure it's similar in your country. So what happening to the property prices? First of all, property prices have stayed stable in pretty much all the big German cities. They might go down by minus 5, minus 10 percent in average. However, there are certain exceptions. We have seen certain sellers who have been shocked by the crisis who went down by 30 percent or even 40 percent of their asking price because they want to sell fast and what i have seen this year is that the volume of transactions went down significantly because people have been really nervous they've stayed home they've been considering what they should do and now we have a shift in the market and a shift in the market means that the transaction volumes is going down significantly, but we now can see the volumes going up already, which is a great chance for you as an international buyer, because you usually come up with a lot of cash compared to the Germans, because you used to have a lot of cash, because you usually go for a non-recourse finance if you buy a German property. Last year, all our international clients have already paid 3.5 to 4% interest compared to the Germans who paid 1%. And this year you're looking around 4 to 5% interest, which is pretty much similar to the German buyers. So you are now equal. However, the LTV ratio, the loan to value, would be maybe 40 to 60% for you as an investor if you want to buy a property in Germany. That's pretty much the same for the German buyers because they cannot afford with a high interest a higher mortgage. So now you have the opportunity as a buyer, which is the first topic here, to step into the market show you cash and say, okay, I'll make you a good offer and I can close the deal very fast, which is a great opportunity for you as a buyer, which I haven't seen in the past decade. The past decade, we had a very strong seller's market, which is now looking to change in the short term. In the midterm, you have now a Deutsche Bank report here and a lot of other researchers out there are confirming that is such an over demand and an undersupply in the city of Berlin and in the city of Leipzig and the, the economic outlook is very, very positive, especially if you compare it to other areas in the world. So in general terms, we have a very, very positive outlook on property in Germany. So now for you, it's a good chance to step into the market, make a discount, achieve a discount on the purchase price. And then here's the next figure on the rental income is going up and up. We're actually rented out for a very, very good price. 
Why is the rent going up? Because of course, a lot of people who have bought previously cannot buy anymore. And so they have to keep renting or start renting. And that's why there's a lot of good tenants out there who are waiting to rent your apartment. So that's a big chance for buyers. And of course, we are used to international clients, so please feel free to contact us under this number if you need some buying advice, what's on the market, what you can afford, how much is the rent, how do I get a mortgage, how do I find a lawyer, how about the tax situation, all these things uh, we're happy to help you to guide you into the right direction, point you to the right lawyers, right tax accountants, and then of course, help you to rent out your apartment, et cetera, et cetera. So that's something, please feel free to contact us here under that number and book an appointment with us if you are a buyer and need professional advice. If you are a seller, you are in a very good position because if you had your apartment for more than 10 years, selling your apartment is income tax-free in Germany. Please contact your accountant on that. But that's the general rule. And you have made a fantastic profit in the last 10 years. Usually you should have doubled the value of your property or even tripled it. So that's a fantastic position for you to be in in order to sell your apartment or property. If you want to sell now, the negative thing is you do need to give a discount compared to the year 2021. Uh, we don't have double digit growth figures anymore and we are not expecting these figures to come back anytime soon, even after we might have sorted out the geopolitics in Eastern Europe. So if you want to sell now, you need to give discounts compared to last year, but you still have made a big profit. So even if you give a discount of 10 to 20%, you have still made a very good profit. If you don't want to sell now because you think, no, no, the market will pick up again, uh, interest will go down again, and I just wait a few years, please be aware of that there are very strict energy rules starting for the 1st of January, 2023. So all of you who own an apartment, which is not a new build, then please be aware of that you do have to invest into your apartment in order to keep up to the energy standards, which are mandatory starting from next year and even the year after is getting stricter and stricter. So you do have to invest money into your apartment. If you need further advice on how much you would probably need to invest in order to keep your apartment rentable and sellable, yeah, don't lose price on the market, then you please you should contact us here. We can guide you to the right energy consultant who speaks perfect English, and he's gonna explain you what you need to be aware of in order you wanna keep your apartment. If you keep your apartment, of course you get a premium rent, but only if you have a certain energy level, which has to be a good level, of course, otherwise the government will force you to pay part of the heating costs, which will eat out a lot of your profit or the net rental income you're having. So as a seller, You've made a fantastic profit in the last decade. Yes, the market is stable or going down a little bit, but you've still made a great profit. And your question should be, should I sell now or should I sell in a couple of years? If you want to sell in a couple of years, please know, please keep aware of you need to invest money into your apartment if it's not a brand new apartment. I hope I could help you a little bit on the general market here in Germany. Our outlook for the next year and the next two quarters is quite positive. I think we have come through the biggest uh, biggest problems already, and we are quite optimistic. The, we don't think that interest will go up for to six, seven, eight percent. We are expecting one, two, three rises of interest rates from the EZB, the European Central Bank. Um, but I think inflation will go back next year, especially when energy prices will go down. There are a few positive things we can see already in the market. We as a broker, real estate agent, can see the market picking up already. You should be much faster than the media and the, the public opinion because we can see inquiries very early before it shows into notary contracts or sales, which then are being published online. So at the moment, we could see an upshift in the market already. Uh, I think people have accepted the higher interest rates, buyers especially. And I also can see that sellers are going down in prices because they actually want to achieve a transaction. So that's a quite positive thing. So the market is working. Uh, if you have questions as a seller, please feel free to contact myself, my team, my colleagues. We're very happy to help. You can book an appointment here directly or call this number here. And don't forget to go to our website, blacklabel-properties.com. Thank you for watching.